G'day everyone, Master Bucks here. Just a quick update before we do get into the match reaction for Newcastle United versus Tottenham. Obviously, as some of you may know, this is a re-upload because unfortunately, the last video was manually blocked by the FA Premier League. I know that a fair few of you would have hopefully seen this already because it got about 50,000 views in about half a day or so. So I know that it's reached the most of you, but the fact is I still do want this up and I still do want to keep on doing these for the entire season. The only problem is that apparently this is not good enough. I've really put in an effort to try to make the actual footage of the match as unwatchable as possible, everything but the actual scoreboard. The only reason I do that is because obviously I know that I can't just straight up upload the entire game to YouTube. That just, it's not gonna work. Copyright is a thing and I hope you guys can understand that as well. So I'm trying to do my bit here and I'm really not trying to play with fire, but I've remade some changes I've barely shown any of the footage at all, and the only thing that I'm showing from the game is going to be the scoreboard. Just so that way we can keep track of time, we know what stage of the game it is, what the score is, and stuff like that. That's really the only reason I include that in the video, just for reference. Hope you guys understand, I really appreciate it if you do. I hope you guys also know that I'm not out here with these videos trying to completely re-upload the goals and the highlights of the match or anything like that. I'm just out here to try to make an entertaining video, my pure reactions to the match as a Newcastle fan, and I do plan on doing these in the future, so don't worry. And just throwing it out there as well, but if there is anyone from the FA watching as well, and you're still not happy with the changes that I've made, then I do have a contact email. You can hit me up there. Please be sure to do so, so that way we can sort this out and come up with something that we're both happy with. All right, nice guys. Enough of this. Enjoy the video. I have been waiting an entire year for this moment. It's the return of the Premier League season, but this time, Newcastle United is back up in the top flight. Back where the club belongs, and I am so excited. Last season, I did a few of these match reactions for games in the Championship, Cup games as well. But the problem with the Championship, which of course we were in unfortunately last season, is the wider football community does not really seem to give a shit. So even though I wanted to react to a lot more Newcastle games, I really didn't because one, not only were the games not always broadcasted, but two, the wider interest just was not there. But now we are back in the Premier League and I am returning with not just one match reaction, but I'm going to be reacting to every Newcastle game of the entire season. Let's bloody go. I'm so pumped. And we begin our season with Newcastle United versus Tottenham at St. James's Park. If you watched my score prediction video a few days ago, you already know what I gave for this score prediction, but just in case you missed it, I am going with a relatively hopeful pick, but a somewhat educated pick at the same time. 2-1 win for Newcastle. It's not super biased. It's not a super blind pick either. I genuinely think if we can take it to them, we should be up for it with a brand new season. And on top of that, we seem to be a bit of a bogey team for Tottenham. Here we go, boys. A year-long wait. We're back in the Prem underway against a tough opponent in Tottenham, but I'm still so pumped. Bit nervous, but I can't wait. Let's go. We're only about a minute or so in. And there it is. The but I knew it. I was waiting for Suzuko to get his first touch. It's taken three minutes, and he didn't even really touch it. But he is going to get ridiculed the whole game. There it is. Every single... I'm going to enjoy every second of this. This is great. Honestly, those boobs are loud. I wouldn't even be surprised if it was just Newcastle fans. Probably Tottenham fans are getting in on this as well. I wouldn't be surprised, you know, to be fair to them anyway. But, um, uh, Gale is in here. Go, son! Oh, skid your shot. Fuck. Was he offside there? I hope he was because I think he may, have rushed his he may have rushed his shot. It looked like he had the space. Is he on? He's onside. I think he might have just rushed his shot and he just oh, skies it. Unfortunate. Skids off his boot. Had a chance there. No good. Sissoko's on the ball. He's getting booed. Dummett stays with him. Dummett's holding the back of his leg here. This isn't good. Oh, he's gone to ground. Uh, we might be in trouble. We might be in more than uh, just that. Dummett might be down, but we might... No, it's a good tackle. Okay. We had Suzuka in a ton of space. If anyone scores, please don't let it be him. But I saw Dummett. Yep, there you go. I think he was holding the back of his leg. He may have done a hammy. I, I'm not sure who plays at left back. Can Mankio go on that side? Or do we shuffle over to the... I, I'm not too sure. Do we have, have all those centre backs that we have out there? Can Lascelles play there? Kieran Clark. Has Lejeune played at left back at La Liga at any point? I would imagine probably if anyone, Kieran Clark will be the one to go. Okay, we've hit the 15-minute mark. Free kick. Taken early. Gale. Gale's down in the box. Got to be better, surely. Referee's not pointing to the spot. What is this then? Offside, maybe. It's got to be, surely. It's not, yeah. Fuck's sake. Because if he was onside there, 100% a penalty. There is no doubt about it. Now, I don't think I mentioned this prior to the game starting, but can I just say, Gallagate Flags, you guys have done an absolute madness. I know we're like 20, 21 minutes into the game at this point, but can I just say, it was incredible. It was coming through the screens, honestly. The atmosphere down there must be absolutely insane. Easily one of, if not the best, in the Prem right now. So you've done a bang-up job. But still, back to the action. Ericsson and Walker-Peters, I think, standing over it. Ericsson delivers. Dangerous ball two. It's just going to fall into the midst of Elliot. Thank God. Passing it out. 
Yeah, Kieran Clark has gone to that left back position and have a look at this. Atsu, get on your bike, son. We've got support here, Perez. And Gale, I think, far. He's getting close down. Still gets a ball across, but Gale, where has he gone? Please don't tell me you slowed down in that. Well, Ben Davies is faster than him. He might be shocked, but no. All right. Well, that was interesting. We got pretty deep there, and I did not think he'd be able to get this ball in. Attack comes to nothing. I think that's Lejeune all over him. Gets in. Nah, he's going to get there. Wow. Well, that's a bit of a late tackle referee. Come on. Got to get the card out for that one, surely. Looks like he's got, yep, the card out. Yellow card to the leading goal scorer. That's interesting. Now, if we can find a way to pick him up another one. I don't know. It was a pretty heavy one. He followed through and took him out. I think you can't do that anymore. And look, he's down. He's requiring treatment. He does not look in a good way. Don't tell me we're going to start our season off with two injuries within 30 minutes. And we'll already have to make two subs within 30 minutes. And we are out of defense. Who do we have on the bench? Okay, I've gone back over it. And we have Lascelles and Mbemba on the bench. I forgot about him. And he is limping. This hits his first Premier League game. Don't tell me. This would... This... Fuck it, this is unreal. Look, I think we had a really good positive start and we had a few pretty decent spells in the, at the beginning of the first half anyway. As it's gone on, they've really taken it to us a little bit more. But I wouldn't say we've come out of this first half unscathed if it ends nil-nil because we've had to make two substitutions already to injuries. Dummett going down and Layoun as well. This is ridiculous. Is it Layoun or is it Lejeune? As I know I'm going to get drilled for it in the comments. Any more time? Nah, referee says, nah, time to get in the tunnel, boys. All right, well... Nil-nil at halftime. I suppose I'm going to take it. We had chances, you know. Came super close with Gale about five or so minutes in. He just sort of skidded his shot off his boot. And then again, Gale nearly winning a penalty, but was offside by just this fucking much. So came close. We nearly could have had a goal or two in that half, but unfortunate. Nil-nil, I think I'll take it. But at the same time, I mean, Jesus Christ, we're going to lose half our team to injury before the end of the first game. All right, second half kicked off underway. Tottenham will get it started. I was pretty happy in general with the first half. It's not the most entertaining game of all time, but nil-nil, I'll take it. Even though at the start of the game, we probably could have maybe picked up a goal or two. Who knows? I was pretty happy with that too. I was pretty happy with Lejeune as well. I know I'm saying his name wrong. I'm sorry, or at least until he had to go off. And the more I saw that Harry Kane challenge, at first I thought, yeah, definite card. It's definitely a booking. But the more and more I see it, the worse and worse it looks. I think Harry Kane... If anyone else did it, if Metro fucking did it, he'd be off. Look, I know from the neutral side of things, hasn't been the most entertaining game in the world, but if it ends nil-nil, it's a better result for us than for Tottenham. So, I mean, I'd take it, but that said, that's not a good tackle. Who is that, Perez? That's fucking not great. Fuck, Shelby steps. Oh, no, he stepped on his fucking leg. Don't fucking milk it, Ali. You... Mm, I'm not... I don't think the referee's seen it. I think we hopefully might get away with this. Shelby, that was a fucking stupid... I don't like this. He's getting caught over. He's going to go. He's going to get sent off. Yep, yeah, fucking knew it. Oh, you moron. I thought he was going to get away with it. Something told me that the ref wouldn't have seen it. I don't know. Yep, nah. Ah, fucking idiot. What a stupid brain fade. Oh, I can't believe it. Oh, that's a fucking stupid brain fade. And he's got no defense. He just said, I just turned back to the screen as he literally just steps on his ankle. What is he thinking? All right, he kicks it away and then he just reacts. Oh, well... Yeah, he just raises it, but you can't fucking do that, mate. All right, so we've already made two substitutions, and Atsu is in here. Atsu's still going, gets tackled. Still here, shot saved. All right, but the fact is, we need this goal. Now, we are down to 10 men, and we have already made two of our substitutions, and we've lost two players to injury. This is going, we're literally just going to scrape across the finish line here at this point. As important a player John Joe Shelby is, and as much as I love him when he's on for us, I mean... That f he has fucking moments where he just does the dumbest shit and gets himself sent off. I imagine he's probably going to miss more than just this game as well. Walker Peters, they're looking threatening too here, Ericsson. Don't do it, son. What do you got? In space, flicks. Oh, how kind is that bounce? What a save by Elliot and cleared away. Big man. Oh, yes. That's fucking fortunate. How about that bounce, though? How kind is that to... Oh, Harry Kane. And there's another... Yeah, okay, another yellow card. Awesome, sweet. But Jesus... Thank you, Harry Kane. You have put that straight to him. Still a big save. Watch this deflection. I think it's come off a Newcastle player and fallen so fucking perfectly for him. Maybe he's offside. I don't know. But still, big man saved by Rob Elliott. Still, yeah, we see him pen back in. I'm not surprised now with all the subs and all the... Oh, Delhi. Ali scores 1-0. We've held out for 60 minutes and eventually we had to get a red card. John Joe Shelby has to get himself sent off. We have to get two injuries. And now, yeah, nah, no surprise. We find ourselves in this position. Literally fucking shit. And of course, of all people, it had to be the cunt that went and provoked fucking John Joe Shelby in the first place. Awesome. All right, well, better him than Suzuka, but I really, really hope John Joe Shelby is happy with himself. Fucking melon. 
It's been a while now since the goal went in and nothing really has changed. Just penned into our own third. It's just them with all the possession right now, Tottenham. And it, it's, it, this second half is so vastly different to how the first was going. I'm going to try to do my bit and not have a fucking meltdown before the end of the first game. Hopefully we can do, or hopefully they can do their bit. Ball's whipped into no one. Yeah, we shot ourselves in the fucking foot, drop our heads, and look what's happened. Unreal. That's a really nice flick on, has to be admitted, from uh, Deli Alley, and then into the path of Ben Davies, of all people. I think it's gone through a set of legs. It's pretty close to Elliot, but it's just got under him. I don't know if he should be doing better there, probably, but either way, 2 0 down, down to 10, and I am not so sure now. I said I was trying to stay fucking positive. No, it's pretty hard to do now, if I'll be totally honest with you. I'll be honest, though. You know how, you know how like, way back in the day, you could subscribe to, like, text messaging services, they'd update you on scores. Well, I mean, that's what Twitter's for. And no, I'm not talking about like your feed. I've just got a whole bunch of people that just constantly tweet me the scoreline. It's fucking great. But you know what, this is fine. I know that we've lost two players to injury, but we don't need any more signings. We don't need any more defenders. We don't need Lucas Perez. Nah, this is fine. Mike, actually forget about it. Put the checkbook away, son. That's who. All right. Well, that's one shot on target. I don't know how many of those we've had today, but we forced a save from Lloris. Only 10 minutes left to go in the game. If we can create one opportunity out of nowhere and maybe convert it, who knows? We could still have a shot at this. I, again, I'm trying to stay positive. Now, we're putting numbers up, which I don't mind. Space here. Hayden, what do you got? Good ball in. Oh, little guy to get her at the back post. Hit the side netting. Christian Atsu again. He is really the one today. He's been probably the best player in a relatively... First half was all right, but yeah, nah. He was right there. Tough, tough, tough angle. I know he's missed the target, but I mean, he's got to try to beat Lloris from there. That's a tough effort. And there you go. Four of 17. I wonder how many of those attempts for Tottenham have come in the second half after John Joe Shelby's fucking sending off. I guarantee you. And yeah, only two shots on target. How does this not shock me? But you're right, Mike Ashley. We can't spend 200 million a year. Yeah, because that's exactly what Lucas Perez is going to cost. Not 13 million. What do we got? Richie. Richie. Oh, Clark! Surely! Oh! Oh, boy, the mitts of Lloris may have been going over anyway. But that was that. Oh, we get that one. We are back in this game. Look at all that space that he had. I know. Probably was hitting the post. No, it probably wasn't going in, but still. Yeah, that was going well over. Now, Hyung Ming Son. Just make it three, son. Just fuck my shit up. Oh, he's hit the post! And that was Harry Kane. That would have been his hundredth. So, yeah. I'll take that as a little victory. Yay, nice. We are not going to concede Harry Kane's hundredth goal. Oh, the positives. You take them where you can get them. And still out of here. Fuck me. They are still going for number three, aren't they? Cutting it back into Harry Kane. And not a lot of celebration. Harry Kane scores his 100th goal. Oh, wait, psych. It's offside again. Literally, this is just... We're just toying with the man right now. The poor fucker cannot score in August. Not even against us. Down to 10 men. I reckon Ben Davis will take this throw in. And yep, that'll just about do it. 2-0 to Tottenham. And that'll do it. All right, sweet. I did not miss this. I did not miss this at all. All right, then. Well... If there's anything that we've learned from this game is that we definitely still do not need to give Rafa what he wants and there's definitely, there's definitely no more investment needed for the entire summer window. Well, there you go. Not the greatest of starts for our season and definitely not the best of starts for this series. That's fucking for sure. I was hoping to get off to a lot more of a positive start, but what can you do? I'm going to try my best to go against the grain here and not fucking melt down after the first game of the season. That might come later. We definitely still need to fucking invest. I think that's become fucking clear to see. We need more and we definitely might fucking need a little bit more down back, especially with the injuries. It might be forced upon us. Dummett's out, potentially. And we got Lejeune out. We'll see how long they're both gone for. And we'll see how long fucking Shelby's gone for because there's no fucking way he's not going to cop at least maybe a three-game suspension for that stupid stomp. It's just, it's it's the first game of the fucking season, John Joe. Are you kidding me? Oh, yep. 37 more games to go. But I asked you guys on Twitter for your score predictions before the game for Newcastle versus Tottenham. And the 10 people that have correctly predicted the score are about to get read out. Congratulations to Doomy Woomy, C and Ryan 7, Dan the Pants 69, Original Jack X, Jordan Noncha, Averil McGann, Pranav Kumar, Dylan Parry, Ben Connor D, and Tom Taylor. Congrats, you were the first 10 people to correctly guess the score. Unfortunately, 2-0 to Tottenham. Be sure to like and subscribe, guys. We have got Huddersfield away for the next match. Hopefully, that might be a game we could bounce back in. The last time we played Huddersfield away last season, it was quite recently, only a few months ago, but we did beat them. I think 3-1 was the final score, so who knows? They've got off to a pretty good start in the Premier League. We, on the other hand, have not. Hopefully, we can turn it around. Until next time, guys, my name's Master Bucks. Thank you so much for watching, and have a good one.